There's lots of very dedicated people behind the scene of our daily life. Um, we always need clean drinking water and we need um, proper waste management. My name is Michael McLaughlin. Job title is uh, Water Waste Operator 2 with the City of Whitehorse. We have 80 stations between the water and the wastewater, ranging from full-blown um, booster stations and lift stations to small kiosks that measure flow. Uh, my name is Catherine Mallet. I'm the Yukon Water and Wastewater Operator Program Coordinator and also an instructor in the program. They can be uh, someone working in, in the lab, they can be someone uh, responding to emergencies. We're always monitoring um, the condition and the operation of stations and we do routine testing and uh, um, routine sampling. And then there's the, the computer systems that run them and all of that. So for me that's incredibly interesting. I just there's, there's never a shortage of things to learn. Ray Osborne, Senior Circuit Rider for the Yukon in Northern BC and I live in Whitehorse, Yukon. I'm providing water and wastewater services for the small communities um, for public health reasons is very important. And this is an industry where we have a direct uh, impact and a direct um, part of the society we live in. We do a lot of continued training. Uh, every Every year you have to um, you have to attend a certain number of hours, classroom hours. You, you build in your career. Well, the water and wastewater industry is changing. Uh, every year there's new uh, technologies, new regulations. Uh, there's improvement in uh, the infrastructures. Having Yukon College um, available for training, uh, uh, especially for the communities that the operators in the communities is um, is awesome. They they get some hands on. You know they're. The college has the facilities to provide the different testing equipment that they may not have in the communities. You would be in a classroom with a maximum of 12 other operators, so you would have a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one attention. Part of the education process that I've discovered for myself is meeting other water and wastewater operators. And then you have great discussions of, well, we had this and we had to deal with it this way. And, and so there's a knowledge and education sharing. And the program is here. It's not. 2,000 kilometers away in, in, in another province. So um, all those things are critical to sustaining um, operations for the infrastructure in the Yukon.